Dark Shadows is a 2012 horror comedy film directed by Tim Burton and starring Johnny Depp, Eva Green, and Michelle Pfeiffer. The film is based on the gothic soap opera of the same name that aired on television from 1966 to 1971. The movie follows the story of Barnabas Collins, Johnny Depp, a wealthy and powerful man who is cursed by a witch named Angelique, Eva Green, and turned into a vampire. Dark Shadows is a campy and quirky film that combines horror, comedy, and drama in typical Tim Burton fashion. It is known for its visual style, which is characterized by Burton's signature gothic aesthetic, and for its tongue-in-cheek humor and irreverent tick on the source material. The film received mixed reviews from critics, but was a box office success, grossing over $245 million worldwide. White Bird in a Blizzard is a 2014 independent drama film directed by Greg Araki and starring Shailene Woodley, Eva Green, and Christopher Maloney. The film is based on the novel of the same name by Laura Kasishk. The movie tells the story of Kat Connors, Shailene Woodley, a young woman who is struggling to come to terms with the sudden disappearance of her mother, Eve, Eva Green, in the late 1980s. As Kat begins to uncover the truth about her mother's disappearance, she must confront the dark secrets that lurk beneath the surface of her seemingly perfect family. The film explores themes of sexuality, identity, and the complexities of family relationships. It is set against the backdrop of the 1980s, with a soundtrack that features iconic songs from the era. Eva Green delivers a haunting and powerful performance as the enigmatic Eve, while Shailene Woodley shines as Kat, a young woman who is forced to grow up quickly in the face of tragedy. The Salvation is a 2014 Western film directed by Christian Levering and starring Mads Mikkelsen, Eva Green, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and Jonathan Price. The movie is set in the 1870s in the American West and follows a Danish immigrant named John, Mads Mikkelsen, who seeks revenge for the brutal murder of his wife and son. The Salvation is known for its stunning visuals and intense performances, particularly those of Mads Mikkelsen and Eva Green, who bring depth and complexity to their characters. The movie is also praised for its realistic portrayal of the harsh realities of life in the American West, including the violence and lawlessness that was common during the time period. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children is a 2016 dark fantasy film directed by Tim Burton and based on the novel of the same name by Ransom Riggs. The movie stars Asa Butterfield as Jake Portman, a teenage boy who discovers a secret home for children with extraordinary abilities, known as Peculiars. The movie is known for its imaginative world-building and striking visuals, with Tim Burton bringing his trademark gothic style to the story. The film also features a talented ensemble cast, including Eva Green as the enigmatic and charismatic Miss Peregrine, and Samuel L. Jackson as Baron, a malevolent creature hunting the peculiar children. Dumbo is a 2019 live-action remake of the classic 1941 Disney animated film of the same name. Directed by Tim Burton, the film stars Colin Farrell, Michael Keaton, Danny DeVito, and Eva Green. As Dumbo and his circus family fight to keep him safe from Vandiver's greedy plans, they also learn the importance of acceptance and the power of believing in oneself. The film is known for its stunning visuals, with Tim Burton bringing his unique style and imagination to the story. The movie also features impressive CGI effects to bring the beloved elephant to life on the big screen. While the film received mixed reviews from critics, many praised the film for its heartwarming story and impressive visual effects. Eva Green's performance as Colette Marchant, a French trapeze artist who befriends Dumbo and his caretakers, was also praised for bringing depth and emotional complexity to her character. Proxima is a 2019 drama film directed by Alice Wynacour, starring Eva Green as Sarah, a French astronaut preparing for a year-long mission to the International Space Station. The movie also stars Lars Eidinger, Matt Dillon, and Zélie Ballant Lemassel. The film follows Sarah as she undergoes rigorous training for her upcoming mission while also balancing her duties as a single mother to her young daughter Stella, Zélie Ballant Lemassel. As Sarah prepares for her departure, she struggles with the emotional and physical toll of the journey, as well as the difficult choice between her career and her responsibilities as a mother. Proxima has been praised for its realistic portrayal of the challenges faced by astronauts, as well as its exploration of the complexities of motherhood and the sacrifices that must be made for career success. 
Eva Green's performance as Sarah has also been widely praised, with critics noting her ability to convey the emotional depth and vulnerability of her character. Perfect Sense is a 2011 science fiction romantic drama film directed by David Mackenzie and written by Kim Fups Aikson. The film stars Eva Green as Susan, a scientist who is studying an epidemic that is spreading across the globe, causing people to lose their senses one by one. Ewan McGregor co-stars as Michael, a chef who falls in love with Susan as the world around them begins to crumble. Despite its science fiction premise, Perfect Sense is a deeply human story that focuses on the ways in which we connect with one another and find meaning in our lives. The film is visually striking, with Mackenzie using inventive techniques to capture the sensory experiences of the characters and the world around them. It has been praised for its emotional depth and powerful performances, particularly from Green and McGregor, who bring a raw and intense energy to their roles. Sin City, A Dame to Kill For is a 2014 neo-noir crime thriller directed by Robert Rodriguez and Frank Miller. The movie is a sequel to the 2005 film Sin City and is based on Miller's graphic novel series of the same name. The movie stars Josh Brolin, Eva Green, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and Mickey Rourke. Sin City, A Dame to Kill For is known for its stylish and visually stunning presentation with the use of black and white visuals with occasional splashes of color. The movie's characters are archetypes of the genre, with the women in particular being portrayed as seductive and dangerous. The film received mixed reviews from critics, with some praising its visual style and performances, while others criticized its repetitive and overly violent nature. However, fans of the original Sin City and fans of the graphic novel series will likely enjoy this continuation of the stylized and brutal world of Basin City. Eva Green's performance as the alluring and manipulative Ava has been particularly praised by critics and audiences alike. 